Well, I wanted to become a principal because education and, and leadership was instilled in me from before I was born. I hail from a family of educators. My brother, my mom, my dad, my aunts, my cousins, my sister, my, my stepmom, everyone. Over 500 years of education in my family. 500 years to Miami-Dade County Public Schools. This is who I am, Miami-Dade County Public Schools. I wanted to become a principal because I, 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 I know that as a principal, I'm able to affect more lives than as a teacher. You know, a teacher is very important, but a principal has more uh, opportunity to affect more students in, in their careers and their choices and the things they, they are able to do in school. As a classroom teacher, I was able to be in charge of a class and with what went on within the four walls of my classroom. But I thought about how can I impact our schools on a greater, at a greater capacity. And the principal job is where I have that ability or that opportunity to have an impact on my students, my staff, my parents, as well as the community. So that's why I decided to become a principal because I wanted to have a greater impact on the lives of children as well as the adults or stakeholders at my school. The reason I became a principal is because I wanted to lead. I had the experience from my past job before I became an educator. I was in the business world and I wanted to bring that to the table. So I became a substitute teacher and I fell in love with the classroom and I decided that right then and there that I would go back to school, get my master's and pursue my education degree. I worked with many administrators, every principal, every assistant principal that I work with, and I think they have all, in one way or another, affected the way, you know, and impacted the way I, I develop as a, as a leader. One of my principals, Mr. George Brown. Mr. George Brown was an outstanding individual, and he was one of the people that planted the seed in my mind to become the leader that I am. As a classroom teacher, he pushed me to go for different opportunities. He gave me opportunities to attend meetings, to um, learn about different things. Um, he really saw something in me, although there have been many, but Mr. George Brown is where it all started because it started when I was a teacher and the opportunities he gave me. I would say my mom and dad, <laughs> my parents. My parents instilled in us uh, the love of education and the importance of being uh, the best that you can be. I was fortunate to be the first to graduate college in my, in my family. My siblings quickly followed. So many people along the journey, but I think it actually started in kindergarten. I have, I still have notes from my kindergarten teacher from Coconut Grove Elementary, Mrs. Mates, And she sent home letters, I still have them, to my parents that said verbatim, Carmen is a born leader. She will have a loyal following. So it is Mrs. Mates that spoke that into my life when I was five years old. And little did she know that years later, I would fulfill just that. She was the beginning. My favorite part of being a principal is walking around the school, talking to my teachers, talking to my students, uh, looking at what they're doing. I have a passion for aviation and I, you know, just walking around the school and looking at the students working on their projects, the teachers do, doing their craft, uh, you know, teaching the classes, I, I feel right at home. My favorite part personally is being able to mentor, being able to bring the best in people uh, and, and solve problems, I guess, to try to make sure that whatever issues we have are second nature. Uh, to the one that we really have, which is making sure that we're here for the students and making sure that the students are getting the best education possible from the best teachers possible. My favorite part of being a principal is connecting with all of my stakeholders. Um, again, being in my classroom, seeing my teachers shine, as well as my students, um, connecting with parents, whether it's conversations in my office or conversations at arrival or dismissal. I see my school as the lighthouse of Opelika. And um, that was my goal when I be first became principal 10 years ago. And I can see it has, has come to fruition where everyone is working together. It's, it's like a bright light in the community. There's many, many, many different facets of this job that are fulfilling. But I think one of my favorite parts is the ability now at this stage in my life being able to be a high school principal.
and to be able to sit and shake the hands of every single student that I was charged with serving and to bid them adieu and send them into the world after we've given them everything they need to be successful. So to see the whole journey of learning fulfill itself and to be a part of that moment to me is extra special. It's graduating students.